What's going on guys? Uh, here at Vandermeer Speedway. The final MPK race ever at this track. Um, they're closing it after this year. I'm sure you guys have all seen. Um, it sucks. Super cool track. It's always nice when we come here. Fans are awesome. Track's awesome. Just a good atmosphere. Uh, hate to see it go, but at least you made it this year. Yeah, last year I did not. No troubles this time. Wow. Not yet, anyways. Yeah, I mean, you're here. We're here. So, uh, we touched on a little bit that we got quite a bit of stuff to do to the car. It needs to be serviced front to back um, to compensate for the altitude and the power that we're down. Uh, we got a little something, something to do with the motor, I guess, right? Like yeah. we, we have some pretty extensive work to do this afternoon. And we didn't ever have to do any of this stuff with the turbo stuff. Uh, honestly, if you could get the turbos to spool here, you're good. Yeah. You didn't, you didn't have to do anything else. Uh, the blower cars are going to be way down on power. And uh, so we are going to change up the head gaskets a little bit. Uh, I'm not even 100% sure what's in it. I think 70. Oh, I and the ones that we look. have are 50s. 60s. These are 60s? No. Man, well then hopefully the one we're pulling out is an 80. <laughs> like 10,000 is not going to do nothing. Yeah. What, like three, four points? Uh, oh, well, yeah. whatever. Uh, when our guys who are tuning on the car tell us to do something, we do it. You yeah, know? yeah. And he said, put these, put these, uh, these other head gaskets. Give us on some there. more compression so ratio. We'll give it a little bit more compression. Uh, we're probably going to change the stator. Uh, we're not 100% sure on that yet, but got to do a few things to this just to try to help it out a little bit. You know, get a little more power on on motor itself. Uh, you could probably turn the blower harder. I don't think that's the right call. At the expense of taking, the expense power, away of the taking power from the motor that it takes to turn it. Yeah. Uh, whereas again, with turbos, you don't got to worry about that. It's all Just put some more CO2 on the gate. So. Yeah. Unless you got the electric gates. Yes. So. Yeah. So here pretty soon, uh, we'll start tearing into it. It's not going to take that long. Literally, I'll pull the heads off. I'm going to do one side at a time. I'll do my line everything up on my table and uh it amazes me because you still can't ever find the nuts that you need when you go back together uh, with it now we did all right the other day <laughs> besides but the boys also lost a couple yeah and the tools that it takes to do it yeah super frustrating yeah so while you guys are doing everything else i'll, I'll probably uh do head gaskets and then we'll call her good all right so first head is off uh this is what the cylinders look like after 12 passes good obviously because we've got the best tuners in the world um, these are the heads after 42 passes we didn't change anything on the heads when we freshened it up uh, not on the uh, scheduled maintenance as of yet but we're getting close on them they're not real flat nah. out nah. <laughs> so um, so the head gasket that was on the car was a 90 thousandths head gasket we're putting on it is a 60 thousandths that's a that's a pretty good jump right there yeah we're talking some fucking muscle Hopefully. we'll see these things need to be oh ah. yep i remember that that ah. didn't get uh pushed down in there when we were putting the intake on that's why this one leaks it didn't get pushed down in there and when we were tightening the intake up there was a big pop and everyone got real nervous. I, I knew what it was, but. I remember it. I remember the pop. You know how it is, man. Oh. You do things more, th more than once, yeah. you know, and you start learning stuff. Like, yep. I remember the first time from doing that, that, that that needed to be done. Because honestly, if I didn't know that it would pop in there like that, I'd, I'd lop them off <laughs> and then just put some silicone on there. Yep. And you probably still could, honestly, if you wanted to. Okay, where to head at? Let's slam her home. Man, this ain't much heavier than a good old set of 243s off an LS. It's getting a little heavy though. So give a little inspection to the valve train here. All the rockers, the adjusters, the tips, push rods, everything look good there. 
Uh, once everything's back together, I'll do a check on the valve springs to make sure they're all still good to go and they're not getting light on spring pressure. That way, uh, you know, it's right to break one of them prematurely or post-maturely, however you'd like to look at it. But uh, he's going back together with this side, the other side ready to come off. And then uh, we'll start buttoning this deal back up and do everything else we got to do. Okay, so the motor is done. Got the head gaskets changed out to get us some more compression for up here at altitude. Got the stuff done on the transmission that we wanted to, which was adding this dump to the back, taking off our double dump that we had over there on the side. Um, we've mentioned... Yeah. So we mentioned uh, we were coming up with a way to try to keep the front of the car down. So we feel like this big, ugly beam tripper that we put on the front of the car is really nothing but ugly at this point. It's it's too high to be in the finish line beams because the car from the car is so high. That happens because the front of this car is so flat, right? Like we can all agree, the front of a Nova is pretty flat. So what that does is. Push it. There's a lot of frontal air in front of this car. A bunch of it goes underneath the car and is keeping the car lifted up going down track. So the idea here is the split. The idea here is this splitter is going to split the incoming air and instead of allowing it to go under the car, it's going to divert a good portion of the air up over the car. So had uh, Bob Tynan at Tynan Race Cars, the guy who built Batty Dave's new Audi, built us a splitter. And it's a pretty nice piece. It's way more elaborate than what I was gonna do. I was gonna take a piece of carbon from McCamus, trace it, slap it on there. It stuck out about an inch, bolt it on, call it good, but this thing's nice. So, I believe we're ready for the weekend. Got new tires put on, got some new wheels full red the old wheels we just put some red centers in with some red bead locks because our other wheels weren't quite ready yet which is these we've had them in the trailer for a little while it's finally time to change tires we put, we put the new tires on the new wheels i like them that is where we are currently so we'll uh put this thing together put it under the car cover come back tomorrow and get ready for some testing. All right, so Friday, car's ready. Uh, it's just about go time, start making our test passes. Um, we did find, in my little pre-check this morning, found a broken valve spring. Number eight intake, 42 passes. Notice it was a little weak while I was checking them. Pulled it off, found it was broke. So that's that. Other than that, everything's ready. But on a lighter note, there's an old friend here to visit uh, us. Yep. No big block swap K5. I know, <laughs> man. This shit'll probably fight us the whole way with that thing being here. Yep. All weekend probably. But whatever. Yep. Now she uh she, I'm pretty proud of her, man. She has put on so much of her own touches to this yeah. thing that it's cool. Like, like everything that she said she was gonna do, she's done. We'll let Jeff spool. Get right with you. Ah, everything that she said she was wanting to do to it, she's pretty much done. Yep. They take the thing uh, like every other weekend. Like they went to Estes Park and they camp out in it. smoke right there mm -hmm. i like how their exhaust is just blowing right on our propane tank oh right yeah there. that's pretty cool yeah getting it plenty of pressure but man she's done stuff on the interior she put carpet in it like she painted that thing she made a top for it she made the top for it uh like a little bamini top or whatever what, what, whatever or, the jeep yeah, people yeah. call it uh but i'm most impressed about the paint job she went and bought a paint gun 
got that color really? and painted it all I herself. I figured they just got a bunch of Krylon and went to town. No, she went. She did it. With wow. So let's go look at it. And the interior stuff that she's done to it is it's cool too. So we we thought that she was just going to drive this thing around town. No, she literally drives it everywhere. Like you said, they drive it up to the mountains. She didn't paint the hood. No. So. But yeah, I mean, they didn't do no body work, of course. No. But that's and she not, said she never will. That's not what this vehicle is no, about. No. And she said that she never will. But if you remember, the, the new sheet metal that I put on this thing, like the tailgate, uh, the doors, the fenders, they were all black. Yes. And they were faded from sitting outside so long. And so she painted it up, you know? Uh, this is like a cut to fit thing. Ryan said that it was too tall and they cut it all down, put it on here. And then this is the tent that she actually <laughs> sleeps in at night. That's, That's crazy. badass. Uh, but yeah, then, the interior, man, they put carpet, the carpet in it. Or she did it. It's she not a day deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She has done all this. Yeah. So, and for her to do that, look, she pulled the back seat out. Yeah. Put the carpet down, put it back in. Uh, this is the top that she made. And then she sewed all this and then put the buttons on it. Yeah. And Ryan said that, I mean, it's been on there for three months. She just drives it all around. I mean, it's like they've made it, or she's made it really. Yeah, nice. look at this. Like, all of this was black because I bought this thing, didn't have any panels in it whenever I got it. Right. So, I put black ones in it, and that's the, just the way that they came. She bought these and put this on with the carpet. She put the, this, this color in here, and I honestly, man, who would have thought that this color would look good on blue? Yeah, I like it, looks yeah. good. She put the steering wheel in it steering wheel got her some new pedals yeah she got uh this the carplay deal goes into the back of this and it's apple carplay yeah you know because we're iphone people yeah yeah it's so, like everyone should be she does want some uh uh cup holders pretty bad uh, and i told yeah. her that they make the cup holders for this yeah. and she's like but then you don't you got to cut all this out and i'm like oh yeah no you're gonna have to yeah. but that's part of it yeah. you know like i need to get the cup holders for my k5 too but for sure just something I haven't done yet. So, so, so yeah, it, it's awesome, man. She she loves it. She drives it more than her brand new vehicle that she's got. She just loves this thing, which makes all of the uh, hassle that we had with it worth it. So, pretty cool truck.
to move up this way. going on guys Saturday here in Las Vegas we are still on let's call it cloud nine man we, we won the grade eight last night we finally got it done man huge sigh of relief for all of us uh, thank you guys for sticking with us through all of this stuff we're picking up some momentum we hope to keep it going on through today in the Invitational because as cool as winning the grade eight is the Invitational is the one we really want. So uh, we need to go out there, do good today, and secure our spot in the grade eight so that we don't have to chip draw again. So we got here yesterday, obviously. Well, finally, let's let's just talk about this week that we've had. We went to a ball game Monday night in Denver, watched the Rockies play the Cubs. Uh, of course, the Cubbies won because that's what the Cubbies do until it's playoff time and they let us down. But they got the win there. Had a good time, went home, got some sleep, got up the next morning. Started to head to Las Vegas. Sean took a shortcut and then didn't make it. So the motor in the Pete is trashed. Uh, the guy that screwed us around last year on the side of the road, um, his crappy work finally came to light. And uh, I, literally a year ago to the day, or a year later to the day, the engine in the peat is done. So, uh, Sean was stranded. There's a company just up the road called PDI. Uh, they got a tow truck to go get the truck and the trailer, towed it to the shop, which is about an hour and a half north of where we are now here at Las Vegas Strip. Um, so that's where that is. Uh, Ryan then unhooked his toter from his trailer went and hooked up to our trailer you see we got it here and brought it to the track for us so thanks ryan martin and the fireball team javi ricky richard all of them guys man thank you very much um so then made the call to sean's dad said hey we're gonna need something to make the next races grab the dually grab the street trailer head this way so richard and aiden then grabbed the king ranch the 44 foot street trailer they drove all night and got here so thanks to them now let's jump to friday uh we were tied with three other people for the eighth 
spot in the Invitational, which means there was going to be a chip draw to see who got the eight spot in the grade eight. One, one lucky chip, four, four drivers drawing. We wanted to race it all four wide. I think that would have been badass, but wasn't in the card. So, chip draw. Go up there, Sean draws the lucky chip. Badass, we're in, right? So then, it's time to draw for our opponent. See who we're gonna race first round. And who does he draw? None other than Kai Kelly, Mr. MPK of 2023 himself. Uh, his shit's fast, fast, fast. We, uh, we didn't know. Uh, we know we can beat him, but we didn't know if, if it was our day to beat him or not. So, come over here, load a tune-up, go make a test pass against Ryan. It ran really well, and uh, we were ready for first round. So, popped her up a little bit, went up there, let go of the button, and Sean just drove away from him from start to finish. Uh, put about a half car on him at the stripe. On the second round, we went. So that was that was a huge win. Like anytime you can beat Kai Kelly, first round, second round, third round, final round, whatever. Like it's a it's a it's a big deal. I don't care what anybody says. That's right, man. I don't care what anybody says. So we were excited. Uh, went down there to get him. Came back, got the car ready. Um, to race Kayla second round. Uh, went up there and made probably one of the fastest passes we've ever made in the car. It was definitely our fastest 60 foot. Won that race, super close race with Kayla again. Uh, her car's badass too. I mean, it's always fast. Chase and, and all those guys over there, man, that, that car, you better have your shit together anytime you line up next to her. So got that one, we're on to the finals. Get the car back over here. Uh, I went to the bathroom, come back, and the guys are scrambling to get the, the spare blower out of the trailer. I, I didn't know what was going on, uh, but we check our blower every pass. So it gets it gets fresh oil every pass. We, we, you know, we pull the drain, look at the drain, pull the, uh, the fill plug off to relieve pressure, et cetera, et cetera. Well, when they pulled the fill plug out that time, uh, there was a lot of pressure on it. So when he pulled the plug to uh, drain the oil to put new oil in it, it was uh it was not good so we had to change the blower in between the second and the final round uh you can see fresh blower on there one pass that one pass was our final round win against nate sailor uh, so we're, we're super excited like i said uh our our first win at mpk and uh it's all our guys that we've always had you know uh, everyone can say say what they want but sean ain't gonna win unless he gets some real help blah 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 well whatever so we're here we're, we're doing good our, our team's awesome uh sean's sean's doing great behind the wheel he's, he's killing the light every round our tuners are badass brandon petty all of them uh they're they're just awesome so we, we got us a win guys like we're we're happy we're, we're hoping to carry this momentum into today we're hoping we can tell people all day to bet on black because that's what we do when we come to vegas so uh sean was a little under the weather this morning so he he was he was in the trailer kind of late sleeping it off uh, so we'll, we'll get his take on it here in a little bit he's over there signing signing autographs for all the fans right now we've got a line it's crazy. So here's Sean right here, obviously. And then the guy out there with the umbrella is the one at the line. So he's uh, he's going to be here a while. But that's where we are as of now. Uh, again, thank you guys for sticking around with us. Uh, the, the real fans, the real ones, we, we appreciate you. So... Again, hopefully we can carry this momentum into today. Uh, he's got a captain's meeting in about 45 minutes, then driver's meeting. We'll figure out who we get first round, and uh, we'll see if we can double down here in Vegas and, and get us an invitation to win. So, uh, as always, guys, <coughs> if you haven't already, sorry, I'm losing my voice. I was screaming like a madman last night. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Uh, share the channel with your buddies. Share the video. Help us grow this deal a little bit more. Um, we're going to show you some more badass racing here in Vegas, so stick around.
again. Our Saturday ended a, a little bit uh, sooner than we would care to, but that's racing. So uh, he made a better pass than we did. That's that's that. So um, after this race, we had planned to freshen the motor up again since we've been going rounds. And you know, when we won that grade eight, it kind of put us over, you know, over kind of where we figured we would be after this race on runs. So. Since we went out second round today, we figured we'd go ahead and freshen the motor up here in the pit before we drove 30 hours across the country to Ohio. So, that's what we did. Uh, all new pistons and rods from Proline. Went ahead and put new valves in the heads. Yeah. Went ahead and put uh, pistons and valves in the heads. Uh, like I said, re we replaced all of the valve springs before we started this weekend. And uh, that's that. We're, we're about 30 minutes or so from firing this rig up. And it's going to be great. It's, it's fine. What could everything, go wrong? everything went a lot better, a lot smoother. Yeah. And that uh, kind of scares me, you know? So, here in a minute, we got to roll the motor over and then get one. Shit, just two rockers on, one rocker on this side. There's like three on that yeah. side we got to get. I mean, you do things enough and you tend to get decent at them, right? I mean, look at this whole racing deal. Decent, though. Yeah. Still not good. Yeah, but decent. Decent's not bad. Decent is not bad. How you feel about the weekend overall? Man, overall, we did great. You know, like, everything everything went well. Uh, we all clicked as a, as a, as a crew and a yeah. group, you know, and even though sometimes it's tough bringing new people in, you know, because sometimes they can throw things off, oh, yeah. uh, we still clicked, For you sure. know what I mean? And, sure. and everything still happened the way that we wanted it to. Are uh, we good to bump this over? Uh, yeah. Yes. Um, oh, here's one. One more of these. Right here. Oh, why is it way over there? That's kind of weird. Yeah, no, it, it seems like it's got all the torque, yeah. you know, like this thing's really good. Yeah. It's not, it's terrible. Okay, put that header on. Uh, I'm gonna do these other rocks. Oh, okay, did they, did they fall? Yeah, they all fell. Come in. This one, Which this ones? one, this one. Okay, then you're better than me because I don't ever remember. Nope. That's why I do them one at a time. See. And this one you said? Yeah. This one? Oh, you already went all the way down with them? Yeah. Let me get this in real quick. Just, just because <laughs> yeah hey i don't trust that man that's why i leave the nuts off of them and then i do them one at a time Did you find another nut what they were all up, over there come here come here Hop in the car, man. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Hop in there, take your dad or whoever's here with you, come take a picture. All right. What's the note? <laughs> Hop in, man, don't be scared. So, this weekend, we went through some parts. Man, we kind of did, didn't it we? Was, I mean, it was normal maintenance stuff. Like, it was time for everything that we changed. But, man, like, a lot happened this weekend. So but we also, I feel like, caught everything. Oh, we did. So, uh, we'll touch on it again. We replaced the rest of the... We replaced 13 valve springs Thursday before the race. We had already replaced three right. in Denver that had broken. 
I've decided to go it. ahead and replace the other 13. So we made the race and we talked about before the final round of the grade eight, we replaced the blower. So then, oh, you, can get out, man. Look at me. you know, after, <laughs> after second round, when we went out, we tore this whole thing apart, put all new eight, uh, all new pistons and rods, all new pistons and rods and bearings. Appreciate it. And then while the heads were off, went ahead and put all new 16 titanium valves in. Ouch. <sighs> sounds expensive. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know what y'all know about I don't titanium. Know who's for that. But yeah. It sounds expensive. Yeah. You know, I don't know what y'all know about titanium. It's expensive. But it's all back together now. Uh, everything's torqued at this point. I'll run the valves, uh, put oil in it, and fire it up, right? Uh, I believe so. You know, as long as you got, you know, look over the EGTs that they did. Um, make sure that uh, the head grounds are plugged in because I didn't do none of that. Yeah, yeah. In fact, yeah, I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Um, they're putting another header on. Once they're done with that, I've got three more. No, I did the rockers on that side. Um, but you know, I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna torque them rockers again as soon as they're done. And then after that, you can lash it, uh, put oil in it, and we'll fire this bitch up, right? Yep. Put this thing up on the two step. Don't even give it a chance. Don't even, like, let, don't it even let it warm up. Put nope. it that bitch on the two step. Good. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in four gallons of maximum 50 weight here. And then uh, once we're ready to fire this thing up, we'll, we'll turn the camera back on and make sure it doesn't blow up here all the time. We're done. And you're still going on. <laughs> there you go. I'd be hey, looking at shit. what hey, we're talking about. Just, just swing like, through Oklahoma, man. We'll go hit him, 18. I told him, I was like, man, we can, man, we can do the rods tonight. And he goes, well, I thought we was going to go home and do them. I go, that'll give us a free day at home. <laughs> do whatever you want. Yeah. Well, it's off. It's to work on the fucking wagon. Yeah. Because we're fucking, stupid and we put all kinds of stuff on our plate, not just MPK. Well, yeah. that and then I decided to buy another house right in the middle of the busiest we've yeah. ever been. So I got to go finish that. Did shit everything out. look good? I, yeah, no, I surprisingly. Mean, we, put, we put valves in the heads, springs on it. Like, also fresh. fresh, fresh, fresh. Fresh, fresh. All the yeah. bearings look good, though. I pulled the mains out, looked at them just to make sure. Um, so, you know, everything's good. Yeah, everything's as, far as, good. as far as we can tell. Just from I mean, visual. we're not the Doug. Yeah, I mean, line, you know, know what I mean? But I feel like I got Doug's blessing go, this morning, like, though. As far as my eyes go, you yeah. know, where I can see right yeah, here. Right, right out here. <laughs> everything looked great. Yeah. Yep. So we're here at PDI up here in St. George, Utah. This is where the Big Pete is, and this is not good. Uh, the old roadside mechanic got to us. It took a year, but if the ugliness finally presented itself, and left George or I left Sean stranded. So got it towed here and uh, they got it tore down and getting it ready for the rebuild. Again. Yeah, 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 yeah. At least but, you're not stranded this time. Hey, look, I'm not near as stressed out right now as what I was the first time. Yeah. Uh, all you got to do is mention these people's names, and anybody in the trucking business knows who they are, yep. and they're a reputable shop. It, it's not a on the side of the road shop. It's it wasn't like the last guy that, we, that when we told people they said who. Yeah, it's a destination shop, is what this place is. Yeah. So you know, like. There's nobody that I haven't mentioned it to. Jim Howe came over and talked to me this morning, and I told him where the truck was. He goes, oh, man, they bad motherfuckers. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's yep. what I keep hearing. So, you know, we're, we're not really in the trucking business, yeah. you know? So this is stuff that we probably should have done the first time when we was on the side of the road, and we'd have been 26 grand ahead, you know? So, yeah. And it wouldn't have been... Everything that they told me when they tore this thing apart was my worst fears, and it's exactly the way it played out in my head. Yep. Uh, metric bolts stripped into to standard holes, like nothing was done right. None of the injectors matched. The, uh, the brand new head that you put on. Brand new head that junk. I put on is already worn. Uh, 
it, it's it's one of those things that I, I knew it, you know, and I knew driving this thing, it wasn't the way that it was. Yeah. Something wasn't right, you know, and it, and it took a year of driving it for it to, uh, you know, tear everything up again. Yep. So hopefully this time we don't have to worry about it. I, I think we're in good hands. So like we mentioned last year, you guys remember, like one of the things we waited so long on was the new head and uh, 30 trash. Hopefully the new cam's still good. None of the injectors were part number dry, like none of them match. A uh, bunch of the rollers are messed up. It just, man, that guy, I, I wish I could remember the name of the people so I could tell y'all so you could blast them. But I don't remember the name, but they definitely screwed Sean out of $26,000 for sure. So, this basically this thing needs a full rebuild. All they're going to use here is the block. Everything else is just trashed. Uh, we were hoping that this white one back here was ours, but it is not. That is a little out of our price range. But this one's going to be cool. It's getting uh, one of their turbocharger kits. It's getting... Uh, it's getting all of their stuff so they know that it's going to be right when it leaves and there's a bunch of other trucks running up and down the highway that got this same stuff so we we know that we're going to be in good hands here that's where we are um we're fixing to hit the road we're aaron's getting stuff out of the motorhome part here to pile in little pete uh we brought the stacker up here with little pete that was uh i wouldn't want to do that all the time it pulled it we we're cruising about 65, 70, but I went up a couple hills where it slowed it down to 20. <laughs> so, but it, it did it, you know, it, it did its job just like we had intended to whenever we bought that deal. So, um, we're gonna hit the road. We gotta go back to the track, pick up the merch trailer, and then Sean's gonna hop in the dually with the street trailer that's got the car and all of our parts and tools and everything. And we're gonna head home for a day, take care of some stuff there with the SEMA wagon some other stuff and then we're on our way to West Salem um, and uh, we'll see if we can keep our momentum moving forward and man we, we, we want that invitational win so uh, we're tied with Giuseppe for the eighth spot currently so there'll be a chip draw to see if either Sean or Giuseppe gets into the uh, grade eight hopefully it's us again we can go out there and get some more data hopefully pick up another win and then uh, onto the Invitational and see if we can get, get that win. So, uh.